spent four years at Northern Colorado. He's won 20 games. He's been to the postseason in each of his previous four years in Boulder. Starting lineups brought to you by Reese's for the Buffaloes at 9-7. and seven. They're 2-2 two and two in league play after losing their last two coming in here. Askia Booker, the senior, with Jerron Hopkins, Treshawn Fletcher, Dustin Thomas, Wesley Gordon, the starters for Colorado, again, playing without Josh Scott and Xavier Johnson. Herb Sendek in his ninth year at Arizona State, 403 career wins. He's had 12-20 win seasons in 22 seasons as a college head coach. And the starting lineups again brought to you by Reese's for Arizona State. Trey Holder, the freshman from Los Angeles, with Jerry Blake, Savon Goodman, Shaquille McKissick, and Eric Jacobs in the five for Arizona State. Devils at 8-9, and nine, they're 0-4 in Pac-12 plays, so both sides desperate for a win here this afternoon. Yeah, it reminds me of those early season NFL games, second week teams totally desperate. When you find that or have that, you have great games, a lot of intensity. You could feel it from both teams before this game started. Colorado in their traveling black. Wesley Gordon jumping the sophomore for the Buffs, and he wins the tip from Eric Jacobson. And Colorado has the ball first. So offensively, Matt, for Colorado, what do they do in the absence of Josh Scott and Xavier Johnson? Well, lean heavily on Ski Booker, but I think the big thing, those sophomores that have subbed in now, Hopkins and Thomas, they've got to play well. Fletcher, they've all got to come up. You see Hopkins there early, the local kid, big hoop early. Sophomore from Mesa, Arizona with the bucket. And Colorado on the board first. Josh Scott out with back spasms. They plagued him for the last couple of weeks. And Xavier Johnson, who has a high right ankle sprain, which he injured in their game against Utah. On the drive, Savon Goodman has his shot blocked. Here come the Buffs. Skia Booker coming off a career high 30 in Tucson on Thursday night. Called for the travel. And the injured Buffs, they're missing this production from Johnson and Scott. Well, they, they essentially have a big three. You include a Skia Booker. Those two guys, you take two of the big three out, as I said. You know, they have guys that have been role players. Role players now have to really step up. A lot of those guys want that opportunity. Here it is. Jerry Blakes, J.C. transfer. Savon Goodman, who began his college career at UNLV, spins inside, flips it up and in. Is he wheeled around Dustin Thomas? Well, he can take him off the dribble. He took him outside. I like that play early. And again, I think it's Jacobson. I think it's Savon Goodman for ASU to start this game. And a reach-in call to Jerry Blakes of Arizona State. Now, Goodman, it's 6'6". Six, six. The one thing he has, power athleticism, they say, is probably the hardest worker on this team. Didn't play early on in the season. Playing now with this, this squad and is uh, I mean he's huge for him tonight. Goodman had to sit out the first nine games for Arizona State because of transfer rules. And Goodman now has started each of the last seven games for her Sunday. And I think it's interesting. Hopkins plays a little point. They're trying to post him up with Holder down low and Booker off early. Skia Booker missed the three and a foul going for the rebound. A hold is called against Jerron Hopkins of Colorado. First on eight on Colorado. Just about two minutes in here in Tempe. Tough loss for Colorado down the road in Tucson. Minus Scott and Johnson on Thursday at McHale Center against the Wildcats. Where Booker went for a career high 30. He had six threes in that game, but Stanley Johnson 22 to lead Arizona. Well, and that's the key for me with Booker, as you see, Kissick ripped one off the side of the glass. And then Colorado on the run. Skia Booker the pull up. Now that's confidence, Roxy, right there. You can tell when a guy pulls up like that. You see a lot of guys trying to get to the rim today. I like what he did there. Smart decision and then the confidence to drain it. When you have a big game, Matt, like he had against Arizona Thursday, how much does that fuel his confidence? You know, I'm not sure. You, know, you can't wait. I mean, it absolutely, you want to get out and play again. You could see him warming up this afternoon just by the way he carried himself. And as I said, did play real well early this season, but kind of regression toward the mean. It's all averaged out now. 
Jerry Blake's missing a three. Shaq McKissick, the offensive rebound. Blake's again. Three for ASU. Now, Blake's one of the guys that has really struggled from three in conference play. Only one made three in conference. He gets his second. So they struggled shooting the ball against Utah here Thursday night. They missed their first nine three-point attempts against the Utes as Blake gets that one. The runner by Jerron Hopkins. And he's the guy I think can really break out. I think he can become their point guard. Even at 6'6", you have Booker that can play that position. I love how Hopkins gets to the rim. He's got two early. Jerry Blake's cut off in the lane. Jack McKissick attacks. Offensive foul. Charge against the senior McKissick. Now, McKissick is a driver. And you see, missed that first three. Colorado... Doing a, uh, doing a great job understanding that. You see the help defense come in. Thomas, right in position, easy call. 76-59, Arizona State losing here to the Utes on Thursday. Where Utah shot 54%. 9 of 17 from 3 is a foul off the ball whistled against Arizona State. It's on Savon Goodman, his first. Three against the Devils. As Jonathan Gilling is in, the 6'7 senior from Denmark. Placing Goodman. As Gilling averaging over seven points a game, is third in Arizona State history in three pointers. Behind Ron Riley and Eddie House. And a walk is called. It's Dustin Thomas, an indecision there in the key. Yeah, caught it, as you said, I think was off, maybe off steps there. He should have gone straight up with it. At good position, they had a nice pick and roll there. Tad Boyle saying, come on, my man, put it up. And for the Sun Devils here Thursday, they shot just 39% from the field in the ball game, And only had one player in double figures. Jerry Blake's had 10. And a block is called on a ski of Booker, his first. Arizona State and Colorado, two teams in desperate need of a win. Buffs by one early. Going at it in Tucson. Yeah, that's going to be huge. Biggest game of the conference thus far this year. And we were talking about this. Can you imagine if Arizona wins that game? You know, down that list there, if Washington State wins as well. They're tied for first place. It's the Pac-12. Yeah. Strange things happen out here. We know that. Cody Justice in the 6'3 freshman from Mesa. He fires off on a three in the rebound. Colorado and Jerron Hopkins. Already three rebounds for Hopkins, who drives his foul by Justice. Will go to the line. And you talked about Jerron Hopkins as a guy that really needs to step up today. We're seeing that here as this game develops. Well, he's 6'6, 200 from this area, from Mesa. Obviously, a homecoming for him. But I think more importantly, and you look at his numbers, good numbers, shoots it from the field well. Not high on points yet, hasn't had enough time, but I just like him in the open court, Roxy. He really gets around, he's smooth, great ball handler. I think he can play the point. It gives a ski of Booker a rest at the two, then he can come off screens to score. This is one area he needs to get better, just 54% from the line. One out of two this trip. He has five of Colorado's seven. Side McKissick has it deflected by Xavier Talton who checked in. Eric Jacobson is fouled. And it's on Talton of Colorado, his first. Now McKissick could not handle it. was a great flex cut running on. They were practicing that play today in shoot around and couldn't handle. Jacobson scoops it up. And again, I think they got to go to him. Look at those numbers, uh, Roxy. 66% from the field with Josh Scott out. Again, another guy that needs to work on free throws. This whole ASU team needs to work from the line. But feed it into him. Try to work your offense through the big man. Roosevelt Scott coming in for ASU. Jacobs and the junior from Chandler. 65% from the line. Missed both the rebound. Dustin Thomas for the Buffs. Xavier Talton. And a steal by Shaq McKissick. X 
excellent job of playing the passing lane. Jonathan Gilling fires three. Oh, that was a great decision by the freshman Cody Justice on that pick and roll. You saw Jacobson roll and Gilling did a nice job coming to the top and Justice found him. Five of Arizona State's seven field goals have been threes. And a three knocked in by Jerron Hopkins. I'm telling you, this guy has some ability. He has a big upside. I love him playing the point for them starting today. A lot of that because the two injured guys out, but I think that could be his new position. The floater and the key, Cody Justice zigzagging against the bucket. You know, he, he's got some freak in his game. He's He can get up and down. He's crafty. Got some moves. Justin Thomas has his shot blocked. Tied at 10. Jack McKissick attacks, gets all the way to the basket, then misses the layup. And Wesley Gordon clears, here come the Buffs. Thomas underneath. Nice pass from Jerron Hopkins, finds Wesley Gordon. Now Hopkins set that up. He hit that earlier three. They had to come out on him. Then he used the screen. Beautiful roll. No help. Weak side from ASU. ASU taking threes. Colorado, any of their points coming in the paint. Or what's the lane. Technically, there's no paint. Here at Wells Fargo Arena. It's Wesley Gordon called for the foul. We talked about it, Roxy. You mentioned those free throws. Look at this. I mean, 0 and 5 there. Games decided by five points or less. And if you don't hit free throws, that's the key in a lot of those games. They were talking about the fact that they didn't hit them early. You saw those two early misses. I think it's a little bit in their head. They're going to have to just reverse that confidence or lack of confidence. Actually, that last foul, the Buffs called against Xavier Talton, the junior from Sterling, Colorado, his second. 14 fouls on Colorado as Savon Goodman works the baseline but comes up empty. And Tory Miller in the game with the rebound. The freshman from Kansas City, Kansas. Also in is Eli Stahl to the junior from Southern California in modern day. Dominique Collier, the freshman from Denver out there. So Tad Boyle going to his bench here. And again, a little bit short-handed. And you see that a lot in the second game of a Pac-12 road trip. Talted off the mark. And the rebound deflected out, last touch by Treshawn Fletcher, it goes to Arizona State. Now, I like Talton bombing it there, he hasn't been shooting it well, but try to get some confidence, don't be afraid to shoot it. I thought his earlier turnover was because he was looking to pass, not shoot, that time he gunned one up. And there is Josh Scott sitting on the bench, the junior big man, averaging 14.7 rebounds a game. He's missed now four of the last five games, including today with back spasms. The one conference game, he came back after sitting out the home weekend against the two L.A. schools in Boulder. Played, but didn't really have an impact in the game in Salt Lake City against Utah as Roosevelt Scott misses. And has missed the two here against the Arizona school. Yeah, had three points in that Utah game and just really couldn't do anything. Colorado has a real chance. If they can win this game, they have five of their next seven at home. So a big, big game on the road for Colorado. Collier missing the runner. Offensive rebound. Tory Miller missing. And it's cleared by ASU. Inside, Savon Goodman has his shot blocked, and the bus come away with it. Well, it looked like he may have got hit on the elbow, too. Approaching 11 minutes left in the first half. Point lead for Colorado. Trayshawn Fletcher, the runner in now, and the rebound controlled by Savon Goodman, who throws the outlet pass away, and it goes right back to Colorado. Well, Wesley Gordon with the nice screen. If you want to roll screen hard, get it back. 
finish. Washington State coverage begins at 4 o'clock on Pac-12 Networks and Pac-12 Now. And it's all preceded by the New York Live pregame show. And triple header on Pac-12 Networks. Some good basketball here. We'll start here in Tempe. Move down the 10 to go down to Tucson. Who, who, we'll wrap it up in the Northwest. Who guards DeLon Wright today for Arizona? They go big with Ron Matt 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 <laughs> Reggie Geary, they're going to bring him back, <laughs> Khalid Reeves, there you go. Judd Bushler, Mile, no, Mile, Mile scores, he doesn't, he doesn't defend. And a walk is called, and a turnover by the Buffaloes, they're fourth, and here's yeah, the matchup. Yeah, now, they put Rondé Hollis Jefferson on Joe Young the other night, and I thought it was a, a brilliant move, he shut him down, and DeLon Wright does everything. It'll be interesting to see if that matchup comes to fruition. Here's Jonathan Gilling off on a three in the rebound. The freshman Tory Miller cleans it up. Skia Booker back in for Colorado as Dominique Collier spins, feeds. Eli Stalls are missing a three. Collier, though, the rebound. Bo Barnes in, the senior for Arizona State. Again, his college career at Hawaii is now graduated and Playing his final year here for her Sunday. Yeah, I, I think Booker has been pretty patient, Roxy, early as well as he scored it the other night. He's really let the offense come to him. Shot clock at seven. Collier just throws it up and gets it in. Are you kidding me? Hashtag 12 best. That, absolutely. I mean, that was a scoop shot with the offhand. Jakes and some clears inside. But it was at the offhand from what? Eight feet, ten feet? First points for Eric Jacobs and find out if it's one of the 12 best in the Pac-12 Sports Report. I saw you do that today before the game, but I think that was on accident. <laughs> if, if I did that, it definitely was on accident. Here's Booker. Eli Stolzer again, rattles out a three in the rebound, Trey Holder, ASU. And he's had two good looks, almost both of those almost go in. Jerry Blanks gets Arizona State the lead. Well, what kept this team going in the non-conference was three-point shooting, and they have just been a disaster in Pac-12 play, just can't make anything. Blake's now finally feeling it. He's hit a couple of threes already. He was struggling coming in last four games. He had put up just six points a game. He's averaging close to 11 a game. And he was one of 12 from three. From the last four, but Blake's two of three from beyond the arc in this one, but heads to the bench. Well, I think the biggest thing with this ASU team, just confidence. You know, they, they had such a, a tough start to their conference season. They go on the road and play Arizona. Then they go on the road and play two Oregon schools. And then how do they get healthy? They come home and play Utah. So... A team that's lacked a little confidence had a really difficult start of the schedule. They trail the entire game here Thursday against Utah. And they're playing with a couple of early leads here against the Bucks. They had a one-point lead, but they didn't lead at all against their Skowiak's team. Now, one thing the coaches have said is they've really kept up at least their spirit. They've played hard. Maybe their confidence isn't there, but they keep playing hard. Shot clock at 10. Ron Hopkins on the drive. Booker near midcourt. Throws it up with shot clock expiring, and he nearly hit it. And here come the Devils and Trey Holder. And a whistle off the ball, and it's a foul called against Colorado and a hold against Dominic Collier, the Buffaloes. Tight one in Tempe. Hurt Sendek and ASU clinging to a one-point lead. Next, Pac-12 McLean, former Wildcat great, Corey Williams in studio. They'll preview that Arizona-Utah matchup from McHale Center, plus highlights of Duke and Louisville. And they'll look at the first half with some highlights and stats from this one. And triple header on Pac-12 Networks today. Washington State home later tonight. Surprising start for Ernie Kent and the Cougs. As Jerron Hopkins strips it and steals. Hopkins attacks. He's grabbed by Bo Barnes. And you wonder if this will be 
a flagrant one because he really didn't make a play on the ball. Now he's tried to just grab him. He didn't hit him hard, but as you said, the way he did it, Tad Boyle wondering if that's what they should call. And Hopkins starting to dominate this game. We were talking about him offensively, but now he gets a steal. And Tad Boyle was talking earlier. He thinks Hopkins can be one of the best defenders in this entire league using his athleticism. Smart kid. Plays hard. Really like his game so far. He has nine, two and three from the line. One more for Hopkins. From the Valley, from Mesa, went to Dobson High School as a teammate of Arizona State's Cody Justice. Tie game, seven and a half to go, first half. I say Justice just played against one of his old AAU teammates up in Oregon. Benson, the freshman for the Ducks. Trey Holder inside, Eric Jacobson underneath, good position. Yeah, and they tried to get it into Jacobson the entire possession. What I like, patience by their team, patience by Holder. I'll tell you, ASU's done a nice job today, Roxy, of not turning it over. ASU's made five assists on their seven made basket so far today. Now you see him, he worked that whole possession, even off the roll. He didn't get it at first, relocated. A nice job, and then Holder finding it. Willie Atwood, the foul for ASU, is first. Now, Trey Holder started the season at the point. They've gone through about four or five point guards. Holder back at that position. One more for Dustin Thomas. A one and one with the 17th foul against the Sun Devils. Thomas, a sophomore from Texarkana. Starting for the injured Josh Scott. And Jacobs in the rebound for ASU. Off the mark from Willie Atwood. Here's a ski of Booker in transition. Wow, this is like the Washington State Oregon game I saw the other night. Getting up and down, and that's when you make shots like that when you're free flowing. Booker still hot. Holder the teardrop. Got his own miss. Stripped by Jerron Hopkins, last touch by Trey Holder. It's a Colorado ball. Well, I remember back in the day, Roxy, a three in transition was not a good shot with two guys on you. And today it is. And, it, you know, it's a good shot because you're in transition. You have rebounding. Defense isn't settled. And it's a great shot if you're a skier booker and you're feeling it. And it's a good shot because it is a skier booker. That's right. Booker and he throws it away. Jacobson ahead for Bo Barnes. Three on one. The lob for Shaq McKissick. Okay, I'm just letting that one go. We, don't, we want the fans to come in on that one. That was we had a best 12. There's that one up it. Yep, no question. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Bo Barnes three. Timeout, Colorado, and a 30 for Tad Boyle. Well, even I could figure out you could call a timeout after those two, but it was the dunk. There's no way to say it other than they've just been bad offensively in the Pac-12 so far, but finally getting some confidence, as you said, getting some rhythm. I thought by getting it inside initially, that was the key. Then it opened up. Blake's hit a couple threes. Now you get going in transition, everything rolling for the Sun Devils. And a big turnover for Herb Sendek this year. This is a team that went to the NCAA tournament last year. A tough loss to Texas in the second round. But you lose from last year the all-time leading shot blocker in the history of the conference in Jordan Pachinski. Jahi Carson, who is your talented point guard, as a ski of Booker along two. And you also lost Jermaine Marshall, who hit a lot of big shots for you last year. Yeah, they, they lost so much scoring leadership. We'll talk maybe in a little bit about Pachinski. I think that's why their defense has really struggled. They can't get any stops at the rim, and now Booker's sort of taken over. Booker with seven. Jerron Hopkins leads Colorado with nine. Terry Blakes has six to lead the Sunday. Underneath, Eric Jacobson. 
And an offensive foul. He's called for a clear out and a push off. And it's the first on Jacobson. Now let's see here. You got him on his back, right? Oh, yeah, he went right into his jaw right there. Got the, got the elbow. Yeah. Get, get the elbow up there. And then, you know, Gordon now is going to have to play big man duty with Scott out. He's got to guard all these bigs, and he was so effective at the four blocking shots with his size, but now playing that five. And Booker's looking to shoot from anywhere right now. He's Ron Hopkins short on a three, his first miss. Jonathan Gilling. Twenty-two, twenty-one. Arizona State approaching four minutes left here in the first half. I think they reset here. Trey Holder and the rebound. Dominic Collier for Colorado. Nice entry for Booker. Wesley Gordon has a shot blocked by Eric Jacobson. This is a mismatch here. And a steal by Shaq McKissick. McKissick, who was awarded his sixth year by the NCAA last April. Eric Jacobson has it stripped. Last touch by the Sun Devils, it belongs to Colorado. I talked to him about his mother watching this game. Vivian back in Indianapolis, loving this dunk. Happy birthday a couple days ago. Hi, I'm Herb Sendek, head basketball coach at Arizona State. You're watching Pack the 10th ranked Cavs. But here are the numbers for Booker. And the rest of the buffs in that game. <laughs> and you called it, Roxy. I think the six for nine from three was the key. And, you know, Skia shoots it. He has a volume shooter, shoots it percentage-wise more than anybody in the country for his team. So you know he's going to get it up. Justin Thomas clears space. Offensive foul. And the first saw uh, Thomas, who just bowled over Jonathan Gillis. Uh, that, that's really, I thought Gilling established position did a nice job there see him coming back knocked him over good call Easy call for Mike Eggers on the baseline Working with Kevin Brill and Chris Rastatter here today is the floater by Shaq McKissick is short and Wesley Gordon clears here comes Colorado You can just see how a ski is moving right now even when he doesn't shoot it the confidence the flow he has all the way to the basket and the flip by Askia Booker. Nine for Booker. That's four and six on the field goals as Jerron Hopkins drops it off to Booker. Now he wants a foul too. It looked like he got pushed a little bit when he followed through, but there is Hopkins again doing it with defense and then he made the right pass which was around the back to find his teammate Booker timeout for Herb Sendek is the buffs right now on a 6 nothing run and Booker and Hopkins have combined looking for win number 9-9-8 today and the best thing about Booker's numbers today 11 points shooting the ball at a high percentage I think he's been patient really letting the game come to him earlier in the season maybe forcing it a little bit and a lot more on his plate today. Colorado again, playing without Josh Scott because of back spasms. And Xavier Johnson, a high right ankle sprain. So that really puts the onus on Booker. Jonathan Killing rattles out a three. And Booker tracks it down. Booker has it poked away. Stays with Colorado. 
like Arizona State, that's a big thing for Colorado. Turnovers have killed them. In fact, both of these teams, 11 and 12 in the conference, they turn it over more than anybody. That could be the difference when we look down the line here in the second half. Arizona State, 15 turnovers per game this year. Off the inbound, Dominique Collier has a trip. Here come the Devils, three on one. Trey Holder to the basket is fouled. The second on Dustin Thomas. What did we just say? We just talked about turnovers. And if you're Colorado, you're making a nice run. You had that 6-0 run coming back, and now you almost turn, well, you turned it over there, but almost turned it over the, the play before that. So got to be cleaner when you're going into halftime. That's eight Colorado turnovers, seven for ASU. Here is Holder at the line shooting a pair. And the freshman is 63% foul shooter. From Los Angeles, went to the Brentwood High School. Returned the starting lineup on Thursday. ASU. It's made now eight starts this year with starting both games here this weekend. And he pulls the Sun Devils within one. Now Arizona State, they have not led at the half in any of their last four games. Going 0 and 4 to start Pac 12 play. But Jefferson has been 12 points as it's Gia Booker does yeah. it again. Yeah, I don't know if he just looked, looked over at us or the ASU crowd, but he's having fun. That was a mismatch right there. They, they got to change up that matchup. And he's he, was, he was actually looking at you to see if you can jump. <laughs> Bo Barnes missing a three of the rebound. Gerard Hopkins. He attacks. Goes all the way to the basket, but missed. Arizona State on the counterattack. Four on three. They need to take one shot here. Shaq McKissick a three. Why do that, right? It's a good thing they didn't listen to me. I'm doing. That's why we're sitting here. Yeah, that's exactly why. One point game, five threes here in the first half for Arizona State. Now the Buffs can play for the final shot of the half. And it'll be interesting here. Do they come out and double him right away and then scramble after the double? Nope. Lost it. Picked up by Bull Barnes. Flips it ahead, McKissick checks the clock and strikes it. What did we talk about right there? The turnover, devastating turnover. And McKissick putting on a dunk show early on this season. Kind of unfortunate. And today, Arizona State looking for their first conference win. Their own four in league play. Colorado trying to get their first road win of the year. Their own five in true road games so far here this season. And we talked about it. Two teams desperate for a win, and you saw how they played in the first half. Played desperate. That makes for some fun action. Here is Shaq McKissick. Jonathan Gilling gets the start here in the second half for Arizona State. That late flurry, Matt, to end the first half. As the ball picked up by ASU. And the Devils run down the loose ball. Yeah, you mentioned that flurry, and it was turnovers by the Colorado Buffaloes. Nine in that first half. That's way too many. They're not going to win this game if they have nine more. In the basket, Jerry Blakes has his shot blocked. Shaq McKissick three. Well, that was a good shot. I told him he shouldn't have taken it earlier in the first half. It actually led to a five-point play because then they got the ball back. Now Shaq getting strong from the outside. That's... Now, eight straight for Arizona State back to the first half. Wesley Gordon inside. And a nice look by Thomas. He just turned and the little flip pass with two hands. The momentum swing, though, for the Sun Devils. Can that move and carry over here into the second half? Yeah, no question. I, I've always thought first four minutes of each half, the end of the first half and the first four of the second, the biggest in the game. Jerry Blakes gets inside, and one for Jerry Blakes. Now that's just not a good matchup there. You got Thomas out at 26 feet guarding Blakes. You know he's going to go left. He just doesn't get over in time. The nice head fake to get over the shot blocker there and a finish with the opposite hand. Third foul on Dustin Thomas. Blakes an 89% foul shooter. Lefty who is the co 
player of the year at the junior college level last year in California at San Bernardino Valley Community College. And he misses the rebound, Wesley Gordon. Preston Thomas keeps it alive for the Bucks. Open three, Trayshawn Fletcher sticks it. Now, nice open hit, but that was all started by Hopkins after the miss, getting down before everybody. Beautiful play at the rim. Did not finish, but set all that up. One point game. Here he goes again. And they're getting a foul. It's on Jerron Hopkins, his second. Now, we knew about Booker, but Hopkins right now is dominating. Actually, it's Colorado. on Blakes. We're going the other way. Yep. See, it's all come in. It's loving what Hopkins is doing. And we talked about that, you know, before the game, which is a lot of these guys have been role players, and they've had to step up, and that's a big transition from when you go to a role guy to really being kind of one of the main guys, Hopkins has been terrific. And that's the third on Jerry Blakes. Rashad Fletcher has it stripped, but a foul call. And Fletcher will go to the line for Colorado. Fouls on Shaq McKissick is second. Second on the Devils here in the second half. And it's Trayshawn Fletcher, a 53% foul shooter. The curtain of distraction. That's not your grandmother, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I was part of that curtain of distraction a few weeks ago, and I understand that picture ended up on Deadspin, so I'm, I'm, I'm leery when I see that. Doesn't seem to bother Trayshawn <laughs> Fletcher. Not and he gives all. Colorado the lead. All five of his points here in the second half. Bo Barnes in for her send -in. Trayshawn Fletcher the rebound. How would you have handled the curtain of distraction <laughs> when you were playing here for Lute Olsen? I'll tell you, the toughest I ever had it was at Pitt one year. Someone kept saying Noonan right under the bucket. And I was laughing so hard, it was hard to make it. It didn't really distract me other than just it was funny. So New Noonan's the go-to Noonan. for me. Bo Barnes called for a hand check. That's Danny Noonan. I saw him the other day. I saw him last summer at the uh, Tahoe tournament. Did not look like Danny Noonan. No, he, he, he lost that boyish look. He lost the boyish look. Caddy shot. Their team foul in Arizona State. Colorado on the road playing without Josh Hopkins. Out with back spasms. And Xavier Johnson who's back in Boulder with a high ankle sprain on his right ankle. Skia Booker. And the rebound, Shaq McKissick. Hold is called off the ball, and it's on Xavier Talton of Colorado, his third. A good recognition in transition. It looked like Talton had to pick up Jacobson, so rather than give up the deuce, foul him right away. Here is Jacobson off the inbound with a left hand, and he had to use the left because you had this shot blocker, Wesley, right there, who's a good one. And Jacobson right over the top. So ASU seesaw is back in front. Wesley Gordon, an open three, and Gordon hits just his second three of the season. Now you give him that shot if you're ASU, as you said, one for four, heading into that three, and it's just something that you, you got to give it to him, and he makes it. Five threes for the Buffaloes. to go up with that. Shaq oh. McKissick attacks. Woo. Is this a dunk contest for McKissick? This has turned into one. Another one. Speaking of dunks, Trayshawn Fletcher for Colorado. Well, in both of these teams at times, 
you know, have, have not gone up and down this year, especially Colorado, but even after makes right now, both teams really getting up and down the floor. Only twice this year, Colorado's given up more than 70 points in a game. Once in a win against Lipscomb, the other in a loss against Utah and Salt Lake City. 40-38, Colorado. Roosevelt Scott nearly lost it out of bounds. Well, sometimes, like both of these teams, when your back's against the wall, you really let it go, and that's what both of these teams are doing. Shot clock winding down, just like that. Trey Holder, they long two. I mean, that was a step back from Holder, who's not known for that. And you can feel it's just contagious on offense, both sides. We've had seven ties, 12 lead changes already in this game. Fletcher underneath to Wesley Gordon. Now that was perfect execution. Fletcher sees him. Nice pass by the big fella. In the first half for Colorado, it was all Askia Booker and Jerron Hopkins. Here in the second half, Trayshawn Fletcher, Wesley Gordon getting into the mix. I remember the dunk shows back in the day. Dominique, that looked a little Dominique. Back behind it. Yet, they're on the road, leading it by two. I think that's a great point with all those guys out. The other guys have stepped up. Hopkins, obviously Booker has elevated his game. You look at ASU on the other side, they're averaging 52.8 a game in Pac-12 play. They're almost at that right now. That shot missed off the inbound by Jerry Blakes. It was indeed a two for Trey Holder, so a two-point Colorado lead. And it's a foul called, an offensive foul charge against Colorado. I, I would, that's a turnover on Thomas, but I wouldn't blame him because you give the big man the ball there right in the break with guys in front of him. That's a tough place to handle it. So it's on Dustin Thomas. And he heads to the bench. As Tory Miller, the freshman from Kansas City, Kansas, is in the game. Colorado trying for their 10th win. Trying to snap a two-game slide. They've not lost three in a row since joining the Pac-12. The last time they lost three in a row was when they dropped four straight, while still members of the Big 12 back in the 2010-2011 season. Savon Goodman underneath. Count it, a goal tag. In a foul, and Savon Goodman to the line. Right, and I like what Herb Sindek's doing right here. Just really kind of a three out, two in. Get your post, two guys down on the block. It looked like Fletcher just kind of lost balance there when he was defending Savon Goodman, and he made him pay. That was on Trey Shot Fletcher. As Arizona State reclaims the lead. Goodman now with five. Booker. The floater. And Askia Booker is first points of the second half. And that's as good as you'll see right there. The little crossover coming back. And then the floater. That was terrific. And now he comes away with the basketball. Booker leads the break. Three. Can't get the roll. And Miller fouled on a putback. We'll go to the line. It's on Eric Jacobs in his second. And that's what I was saying earlier. When you shoot a three in transition, you've actually got pretty good rebounding ability. Nobody's really boxing guys out running towards the rim. And Miller did a nice job running the court. They call that foul actually on Blakes and not Jacobson. So that's four on Jerry Blakes with 13-17 to play. One more for Tory Miller, now 9 of 12 with the line this year. So Blakes has to sit with the four fouls, and he'll be sitting for a little while over there. Uh, Colorado has really gone small here. In fact, the guards aren't even used to going in on the, on the foul lane. <laughs> they had three guys out. And see how ASU attacks their small lineup. One out of two for Miller. They, they essentially, Colorado, have, they have three point guards, and then Fletcher and Miller, the backup five. And part of that, Jacobson out of the game. Let's see if they can go to Goodman. Back door. Oh, Good night.
Man, oh, I could say as well. It, it's, it's becoming a circus out here. I can't even do that on a trampoline. I mean, that was as good as it gets. The height, the power. Oh, and by the way, we're tied. Yeah. <laughs> Askia Booker missing, Bo Barnes the rebound. Gillen backing down Xavier Talton. Savon Goodman underneath. Arizona State goes in front. Now well, just too powerful right there. Tad Boyle wanted to travel and he may have been correct, but didn't get it. 15th lead change. Jonathan Gillen. Here come the Devils. Well, he wanted that. He wanted to pull McKissick feeling it. Long on three. Dominique Collier the rebound for the bus. Exciting game here in Tempe. Two point lead for Arizona State. Tory Miller powers his way to the basket. We're tied again. Now the big fella's got a great body, used it on that play, and a good no call. But they might call a charge, but maybe leave it alone. And a foul call to Dominique Collier of Colorado, his second. But a highlight real day for Shaq McKissick. Well, the NBA has an all-star break where they have play a play after a highlight real play. 14 points lead Arizona State really is coming alive and it started at the end of the first half and for McKissick It's carried into the second half. Well, and just think how much confidence we talk about confidence how much a dunk Just excites you and gives you that confidence and, and Every time he has a, a lane even an opening it's going down Yeah, I have a feeling he'll be featured prominently on the 12th best the 12th best. best. Yeah, just just a guess we, You know we guys for years have said on the 12 best, or you know, when you show highlights, offensive foul against Eric Jacobson. And when you show highlights, a lot of people say, Why don't they show more threes or passes? Well, that's why <laughs> that's just more fun to watch than a guy hitting a three or making a good pass. It's been incredible. And Jamie Long and Ashley Adamson will have fun with that. Wesley Gordon missing, and Jacobson clears. This rate, they might just get 12 dunks from Shaq McKissick. Oh, that's right. Arizona State with the giveaway. Herb Sendek. Today, a win for him would be his 150th as the Arizona State head coach. 520 win seasons here at ASU. Ninth year for Herb Sendek. A good run, 10 years at NC State. Trying to retool this roster with young nucleus. As here comes one of those young players, Trey Holder, to the senior, Bo Barnes, missing a three, and Trey Sean Fletcher rebounds for Colorado. Halfway through the second half, Xavier Talton has it stripped. Buffs get it back. And an interesting time for them with Booker out of the game. Hopkins kind of the go-to guy. Who do they go to here? Hopkins attacks, and he's fouled by Jacobson. And that's three on Jacobson. Blitz with four, now Jacobson three. 9.39 to go, and a couple of free throws for Jerron Hopkins. Yeah, and that was all Collier, did a nice job getting down into the lane, under the rim. You know, we were talking about that you know, years ago. Coaches didn't like you to be under there. And I remember Steve Nash was the first guy that I remember always being under the rim. Almost like Wayne Gretzky in hockey. Nearly banked it in. The curtain of distraction may have gotten him. <laughs> he used to call that when Wayne Gretzky was behind the net. His office. That's right. That's right. That, then Nash sort of, he did that in basketball, made that his office for... Guys like the Matrix. Hopkins one out of two, and 
The Bucks have a one-point lead. Coach Nash winning MVP awards. Good defense so far, Colorado. Good possession. And don't break down late. Yep. And a foul called the post. Wesley Gordon's first. And just going to reach there. And Showing 16 fouls on Colorado. Yet Jacobs is shooting the one and one. One and one. Now they just change it to seven on the Buffaloes. Jacobson planks that one and Gordon the rebound. Uh, ASU 10th in the conference during conference play with from the line. Let's see what, what that does later in this game and how that plays out. Freshman on freshman. Five on the shot clock. Gerard Hopkins. Throws it away. Turnover in Colorado. Well, that was the best defensive possession all game by Arizona State. And you wonder if Booker not in the game. And without Booker, just hard for them to get good looks. He really sets everything up. 13 turnovers now for the Buffs. Every single one point lead. Cody Justice goes inside. He does such a nice job keeping guys on his hip. He dribbles pretty high. He's got kind of a high posture, but doesn't turn it over. Arizona State by one. Booker. And Justice the rebound. Here comes the freshman. Can any team really get a run going? It's been back and forth, of you, as you have mentioned. Can anybody get up three or five to kind of put this away? Eric Jacobson lost it. Booker, the pull-up. Colorado has the lead. I, I absolutely love that play. We saw him do it in the first half, the pull-up. That was a pull-up teardrop. You don't often see that one, but way under control. Nice play. 18 for Booker. We've had 18 lead changes today. Terrific game. I'll say one thing about the Pac-12 this year. Their, their teams at the bottom can really play with just about anybody. Eric Jacobson attacks. Yeah, you saw Collier there late on that help on the pick and roll. Quickly, Colorado oh, spins out Wesley Gordon to the line. Tight one in Tempe. It's a one-point game. Now we see so much pick and roll these days. You got to help out. No help there, and this team really becoming the go-to guy for Arizona. Wesley Gordon shooting two. We are tied for the 11th time in this one. 7.02 to play. Now, and this game may be decided right here at the free throw line, and then going to turnovers. Which team turns it over the least? As Gordon misses that free throw. 11 ties, 19 lead changes. Inside seven minutes. Arizona State is 10 of 14 for the field here in the second half. Jonathan Gilling, the senior. Bo Barnes rattles in a three. Uh, credit Gilling, a guy that almost never gets inside the lane. And not least shoot it. He, nice assist by him. ASU 11 of 15 now for the floor here in the second half. Seven threes in this game. Wesley Gordon inside. Rinse off. Save on Goodman the rebound. Now that was a mismatch, and Gilling hung on there. Did a nice job holding position against the stronger Gordon. And a steal, Jerron Hopkins. 
the spike. And I was just saying how Justice rarely turns it over. Does a good job, but sometimes he has that high dribble right there. Hopkins just too long. He's tied a season high with 12. Career best of 13 last year against Oregon State. Jonathan Gilling, another three. Timeout, Arizona State. Sun Devils have matched their largest lead. They've made in the game. And Gilling now 249 or 239 career three pointers. He's 11 behind the great Eddie House for second on the all time ASU list. Number one, Ron Riley, 263. Ski Booker darts to the basket. And it goes right back to Colorado as Arizona State was on the end line. Ed Sendek trying to close in on his 150th career win. As the head coach of Arizona State, he's got over 400 career wins between Miami of Ohio, NC State, and Arizona State. Jerron Hopkins, the floater, a new career high for the sophomore from nearby Mesa. He's absolutely growing up in front of us right here, and I think you're seeing a guy that will be a big-time player in this conference for the next couple years. 14, and a two-point game. Full bars, three. Yeah, he just went right to the holster right there. His dad, the rodeo champion, little Western in him. Devils have made five of their last six. They've hit nine threes in the game and have their largest lead with 450 to play. And Barnes with three threes. And this is a mis mismatch here. Booker can take Barnes. Xavier Tolton a three. And a huge shot, his first points of the game. Now we talked about a guy struggling big time. Had two in the first half that didn't go in. They were close. Nice confidence there. Uh-oh. Uh, Jacobs is okay. And a foul off the ball. Push on Tory Miller of Colorado is first. And that'll put ASU in the line of Jacobson for a one and one. And Talton just hit that three. That was so vital to Colorado's run toward the end of last season to get in the NCAA tournament. And it's been pretty much a non-factor this year. Talton started the first nine games, but coming off the bench last eight, and they're hoping to get at some point that spark that he gave the Buffs at the end of last year. Yeah, he was playing a lot of that point guard position. I actually like him at the two. Put the ball in Booker's hands and make some good decisions. Huge for him. And Jacobson hits both. He has ten. Four-point lead. Colorado again playing without Josh Scott because of back spasms. Xavier Johnson because of a high right ankle sprain. And a foul will put Colorado at the line for a one and one. There is a look at Josh Scott, Jr. Well, he Second was, leading scorer and leading rebounder for Colorado. You and I had him early this year. He was putting up some monster numbers. I mean, you're thinking. Maybe Pac-12 player of the year, and you just hate to see the injury. One more for Talton, now 6 of 8 at the line this year. Averaging just three points a game. And he really came on, especially when Spencer Dinwiddie went down last year. And he hits both. And right now, they actually have Hopkins playing the point. They put Booker and Talton at the two wings. I like this lineup. Four fouls on Jacobson. Barnes, another three. He, he has been absolutely huge in the last five minutes. The key to this game right now. With five threes in a game here against Maryland. Tolton missing. Shaq McKissick the rebound. And a foul on Dustin Thomas of Colorado is for him. Arizona State up five. Hurt Sandek and the Devils looking for their first Pac-12 win. I'm Tad Boyle, head basketball coach at the University of Colorado. 
Well, you can be anywhere. I mean, this it's been unbelievable. What a great kid. I mean, I love doing his through games. So much off the been through so much. You know, I come. A great I, story. I've done probably five games this year. Right when I see him, he comes up every time, throws me five, says, "What's up?" The nicest kid you'll meet in this conference. Terrific. Happy to see him doing well. This is the front end of a one and one. Jerron Hopkins, the rebound. Arizona State has made ten threes in the game. Six coming for the bench for Barnes and Gillis. Askia Booker looking for a foul, didn't get the call as he was knocked down on a three. Now he wasn't fouled in the air, but it looked like he got hit really hard once he landed. Devils up five. It's their largest lead. Trey Holder, the freshman. Arizona State with 65 points. The first time they've broken a 60-point barrier since late December against Detroit. Jacobson missing the follow. Here comes Colorado. Jerron Hopkins is fouled. It's on Shaq McKissick is third, and Hopkins will go to the line. Tad Boyle trying to get their first road win. Buffs are 0-5 in true road games this year. Herb Sendek at ASU looking for their first conference win, their own four in league play. And a timeout taken by Colorado here with 2.45 to play, and Arizona State leading it by three. Things, they've been so, they're, they're elite defensively. Can they hold their poise? Can they defend like that in a big environment in McHale Center? You and I have both been there and seen that. You played there. Yeah, I have played there. And you so, never lost there as a player, by the way. That's right. So can they hold that composure? Can they defend like that when the game really speeds up in those big games? It ain't like it is when you're playing a normal game. It's crazy. It's a track meet. And also coming up later, Oregon State, Washington State. Ron Hopkins in the line. And a one and one. Off the mark and Jacobson clears. Another big Pac-12 game today is a non-conference game. As Stanford hosting the defending national champs, UConn at Maples Pavilion. And the Cardinal playing well right now. Yep, and a team they beat last year. Maybe the biggest non-conference win of this season for this conference. And they won at UConn last year. The Kissick all the way to the basket. 16 for Shaq. I mean, I, you got to get excited, but that was just a layup. But more importantly, two points to go up seven. Colorado in trouble. Largest lead for Arizona State. And our biggest shot of the game here. Booker fires. In and out in the three, and the rebound, Trey Holder. And I think they got the right shot. That's his shot, the step back. He loves it from the left side. It looked good, just didn't go in. Shake and bake three. Barnes. Arizona State will run on the clock. Arizona State has shot 71% from the field here in the second half. 15 of 21. And Booker called for a foul with 127 to play his second. And Holder will go to the line. Uh, and that's a killer because you let all the time go off there. And then you foul with seven seconds left on the clock. Would have rather seen that a lot earlier. And it's the double bonus. Trey Holder will shoot two. Four points for Holder. One more. Freshman comes up empty. He had a total of 12 points combined in the last eight games coming into this one. He's had four so far today. Turn to the starting lineup against Utah on Thursday, getting a second straight start here today. One out of two for Holder. Eight point game. Booker. Way short on a three. And Hopkins fouls Holder. 1.14 to play. Third on Hopkins. Tad Boyle's team down eight with 
74 seconds left as ASU has scored the last six points. Uh, and you sort of wonder, is Booker a little tired? I mean, he's played a lot of minutes the past two games. He's shooting a lot, a lot on his shoulders. One more. One more for Holder. I'd like to see this possession. I'd like to see Hopkins get it at the point, try to get into the lane. If he can make something happen at the rim, great. If he can't, then look for guys spread out on the three-point line like Booker. He hits both. And it's a 10-point game all of a sudden. And just the third team to get 70 points against Colorado this year. Trayshawn Fletcher for deep. Wesley Gordon. Hopkins fires. Gets a three. Timeout Colorado. 55.3 to play. Kurhai 17 now for Jerron Hopkins. If you can't, you foul right away. And I think it's critical because ASU has a number of guys that do not shoot it well from the line. But the one guy who does shoot it well from the line is back in the game. And he has been out for a long period. Jerry Blakes. Comes a trap. And they foul. And two seconds ticked off, and it's Holder back to the line where he's five of six. And it's on Trayshawn Fletcher, his second. Double bonus, so two shots for Holder. ASU finishing strong. They made seven of their last nine for the field. And it pushed the lead out to as large as nine. Rather ten. One more for Holder now, six and seven at the line. And the freshman from LA. Fletcher rebounds the second. Fletcher eyes a three. He got it. Timeout, Tad Boyle. Five point game. Still plenty of time. 46 seconds remain. Yeah, see, I like that much better. You get Hopkins with the ball. It's hard to make a three when you have it. Last year, they've won 16 of their last 18 at Wells Fargo Arena. 24 of their last 27. In the last 49 home games, they're 42 and 7. Here's Josh Scott, unfortunately for the Buffs, a spectator today. Out with back spasms. Off the inbound, it's Holder again. No foul. Booker nearly had a steal. Well, that was good. No reason to foul there. Trap him. He was in trouble. And now you're inbounded from a difficult spot. Yeah, that is one of the toughest. 32 on the shot clock as well. Gilling will play it in. Having trouble now gets Don't him to foul. Jerry Blake. Don't foul. And that's not the guy you wanted to foul. Even though Blake's is an old one today, Talton's for us. But Blake's coming into today an 89% foul shoot. Yeah, the, He's shooting two. And the only hope maybe you have if you're Colorado here is he did miss one, I think, earlier today, as you said. And he's been sitting on the bench for a while. He's kind of coming in a little bit cold. Nothing but that. I say that was a pretty cold shot. One more for Blake's nine points. Save on Goodman back in. Olympic score of the JC rank, Jerry Blake's. Next point. He has 10. 40.4 to go. It's a three possession game. Here comes Jerron Hopkins. Booker forces up a three. Banks it in. Right. He was looking for the foul there. He got bumped a little bit as he was going up. That could have been a four-point play. Doesn't get the call, but 21 for Booker. Personal foul issues. Talton with four for Colorado. Dustin Thomas with four. Jerron Hopkins three. Colorado, or rather Arizona State, Jerry Blakes and Eric Jacobson four each. And McKissick with three. Do you play the same way here? Try to get the steal, and if you can't, then you foul. I think you do. With 32 seconds, you still got a little bit of time. It's got to be really quick, though. 
And that's not the worst thing to happen is a foul before any time goes off. And a foul before the inbound on Talton who fouls out. Xavier Talton fouls out. It'll be Trey Holder to the line. And Talton is done with five points. Well, again, Holder before this game, shooting it well here, but a 63% shooter. ASU not shooting it well from the line all year. It's kind of been a little bit of a mental thing for them, so I think that worked out well for Colorado in that play. Interesting substitution as Todd Boyle brings in Brett Grady. A walk-on has played in just four games now this year. A junior from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. Two shots for Holder, six of eight at the line. Holder now with nine points, six rebounds, six assists as Talton is fouled out. Is he thinking with the football game it was Tom Brady? I'm going, I'm going with Brady here. Got some big football games going, right? I mean, that's tomorrow. Yeah, that's We've got basketball out. today. <laughs> I'm looking at my media guide right now. I'm trying, you know, Tad Boyle brought Ethan. Especially right here. Look at him stretching right there. Brett Brady. He, he knows he it's coming. Shoot it. He can. We saw him early. So he's playing again. Just the fourth time he's been in this year. And he gets the roll. Holder with 10. An 8 of 10 at the line. Fourth game of double figures this year. And first one in the last nine. Down five. Booker. The kick. Jerron Hopkins. Three. Three point game. 20 for Hopkins. Timeout Arizona State. Four straight makes for Congress. So, you know, 21 seconds. I still, still say you play, hey, can you get a steal before you have to foul? And a foul. And it's Blake's to the line. And the foul is on Booker, his third. And Jerry Blakes, two of three at the line, 10 points for the junior from Inglewood, shooting two. 19.4 remaining. One more. Out to four point game. Colorado out of timeouts. Rep Brady in for Eli Stalzer. And he hits both. Nothing but net on both. You need a three. Absolutely. You, you got to take a three at this point. Down five. Here's Booker. Oh, he had the look. There it is, a step back, missed it. And the rebound, Bo Barnes runs it down for Arizona State. Barnes trying to run out the clock, fouled with 2.4. And Arizona State will hang on and get their first conference win. Well, I thought Eskia had the better look on the first one, but now, that's a good look for him. He, he hits those types of shots. I'd say Colorado did everything they could late in this game to try and win it, but ASU won this game with about five, six, seven minutes to go. They just played better down the stretch. Well, Barnes now two or three at the line on the season. And a big spark off the bench for Herb Sendek, 13 points, and Tad Boyle will try to regroup. And hopefully they'll get Josh Scott and Xavier Johnson back. Yeah, that's the key. The other key for them, five of their last next seven, I should say, at home. They could go on a run. So Hurt Sendek and Arizona 